honour and a privilege, to be honest with you, to be involved with a, a group of players that in September enter the Intercrow Park and can put together a tremendous performance to win the Duffy Cup and bring it home to the largest county in Ireland to be the, 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 the best Camogie team in Ireland in a year. It's great pride and satisfaction both for a team as a unit, as players, as a manager ourselves, but also for our families. Year, we, were, we were looking at different platforms and different ways and means of um, analysing our performance from a statistical perspective. And as, as you know, we, we went with, with your own system based on a, a number of reasons. The main reason being it was economical and it gave us exactly what we needed. So as the year materialised and progressed uh, more and more, um, it became more and more of a, a fundamental to actually how we set up our stall, how we actually performed, how we analysed our performance, um, how we looked at our KPIs, how we I suppose put together our own overall team game plan and strategy and how we give feedback to the players in a both analytical and visual perspective. And I suppose it turned out to be both kind of a knowledge sharing and a player improvement tool. So like it was, you know, it was fundamental to most things that we did during the year. It complemented the hard work on the field. The way we construct our analysis was on a two-phase basis. We had our in-game analysis which was, I suppose, was tracking specific things during a game that we wanted to hit specific KPIs. And then post-game, where we wanted to analyze in much more greater detail, where we want to understand, I suppose, um, specific aspects of our game and of our game plan, then it was bro broken down into much finer detail. Um, so, for example, in-game, in you'll be looking at turnovers, um, freeze conceded, um, bits and pieces like that, even shots and goal, etc. But then when we went to the, the post-game analysis and we, we, we synchronised it with the video that, um, that we, we videoed all our games and we, we synchronised it with such and uh, we could look more at probably kind of possession retention and um, player touches. We broke it down based on the player attributes, you know, hitting off their left hand side, hitting off their right hand side. Um, so it was much more detailed post-game. So all this information probably formulated a lot of our own knowledge as a management team and was certainly bought into by the management team and as time went on it was bought into more and more by the players. The players probably understand the true value gave, the, the value proposition that it put, for, put forward. Um, it, it probably brought things that were very intangible when you go to a training session and say you want to make a run X and you want to make the run Y, you want to puck off your left or puck off your right in certain situations. It much more tangible than the fact that we could take out an iPad and actually show them exactly why we wanted to do such. Well, we show them some video evidence of maybe why they weren't hitting their maximum targets. Um, so it, it brought the, the intangible from a conversation to more tangible where we could actually give them something to show. And then they could take it home and we create playlists for them and that they could understand exactly um, what we want to achieve. As time kind of went on, as the season, you know, as the season progressed, and I suppose as more and more games came to the fore, that they they probably bought into it more and more because they could understand the true value that it was bringing. They could understand it wasn't just some guy in the sideline with a clipboard telling them that they're shooting wides and they're shooting scores, etc. They, they they could they could take it away. They could step at home uh, in the evenings. They could watch the, their own clips. They could watch the team clips, and they could understand that. The, the value that such information, you know, that information as such is just data when it's collated, which was brought into real um, valuable information for the players. So then the players could understand, they could understand, for example, that we did analysis on our oppositions from game to game. They could sit down and watch the opposition players. They could understand the oppositions better. Uh, and I suppose as, as you come to the business end of the season where everyone's probably a lot more focused, um, it, all, it all probably fit, fitted in nicely to our overall team strategy. Those would meet in a team hotel um, before the game and we put together a presentation based on information from the previous games and from, from the former sports tool. Um, following that, we, we'd go to the ground, I would get set up and speak with the cameraman. Um, then when the game begins, I would have performed in-game analysis, so I'd have certain KPIs that would be targeting on different individuals during the game. I would be in constant communication um, by um, walkie-talkie to the, the management team uh, and to the manager party. 
And so I'd be constantly giving information um, based on how the game is progressing. And then when half time comes, I would meet with the management team. I would have an on-screen report ready and waiting for them on, on certain aspects of the game, um, certain, as certain KPIs that would be tying back to the overall team strategy. And then that would be used as our, our measurement tool is supposed to actually understand if we're hitting our particular goals or if we're, if we're tying to what we, we'd hope to achieve in our game plan. Um, and then as the second half progresses, it's probably a mirror of the first half where we have further KPIs that we need to hit that we'll be measuring and it's both constant feedback then to the to the to the management team. Then when the game is over, I get the video, I sync it with the, the actual application and do further post game analysis, which I break it down into much finer detail for each of the players. And I, from that I produce a report that I give to the management team. Um the, the players are notified that the video is available where they can log in and review their own um, performance, review the team performance, review their own stats, review the team stats. And then later on in the week, we um, create a presentation based on that that we deliver to the players. players uh, I knew it was making a difference when they start asking me more and more questions about it. Um, I, I could understand at that stage that they were, they were using it. And I could understand that, I suppose, you know, when you've got questions, you, it's not that you don't understand. Sometimes it's because you want more from it, or you want to look at it from a different angle. So at that point, I certainly knew that, that they were buying into it. Now, to be fair to them, it was, it, was, it was new to them too, so there was kind of a learning curve for them as well. And um, so, you know, the questions came as they, I suppose, explored it more and more.